Hey guys, this video is going to be quite a bit different than the others. A few months ago, I was contacted by a guy who supplies robotics to the mining industry, and he asked if I knew of any place where he could test his submersible for mine surveying. So we met up and took a long drive back to one of my favorite mines. So, brought down some rope and a ladder. I climbed down the knotted rope to get down there first so I could set up this ladder to help us move the boxes down into the lower chamber where that flooded winds is. So we've already got one box down and we've got the second one coming. He's gonna tie it off and send it down to me. I just gotta get down here into the staging area. Okay, we should be good. We got her. <sighs> Welcome to the Speakeasy Mine. Now this is new since the last time I was here. Somebody left a Care Bear. Very odd. Good times. Yeah. Right. A little bit different than the last way we came. Can I get these boxes? Over here. To the flood. She's looking crystal clear today too. Yeah. Very odd. I wonder if they... No, it doesn't go that far. So I'll show you in a second. Can you see my light? It goes right through the tunnel. It's just a tunnel. Yep. Yes, there is. You'll see. Yep. So... Oh, that's where we're going in. No, we're going in here. Yep. Come have a look at this. Ah, oh, she's just as beautiful as I remember. Though, a lot more drippy. All right, let's get to work. We gotta get that other box. Is this the... This is the robot. Okay. Is box? Yep. All right, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, it's a pig. Yeah. My daughter would love it. It reminds me of the one John Malkovich keeps a grenade launcher in. Yeah. True. She is. Let's treat this. Alright. Yeah. Sorry, you went faster. That's my fault. Okay, he's in. Tell her to go. Nicely done. Got a big pipe in front of you. All right. Now down she goes. What do you see? Dive, dive, dive. You're gonna hit the ceiling. Dive, dive, dive. Okay, I'm coming back to check it out. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Definitely. Oh yeah, look at that. It's the trick is going to be staying away from the floor and the ceiling. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Because it's just going to blow that stuff all over the place. It is. You're doing great, though. Oh, man. This thing goes Look down, that, doesn't that it? slanty right there, that edge. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. So you can see that the rail just kept going down this winds. We're probably heading down a little bit less than 45 degrees down. Somewhere not far from that zone. Okay, so I think now we've got a little bit a of cross a cut. Yeah, whatever. See, and this would be a nice surveying tool. You could actually see. Yeah, so we've got. You can go to the left or. I would keep going straight. I'm thinking so too. Yeah. Dive. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get the controls backwards. You're doing pretty good though. Oh, look at the color. Look at that. 
and try to be a little bit slower with the movements yeah, so I can use it better. So there's a timber down here. I think oh, you got to dive, dive, dive. Yeah, definitely. So I think Ooh. we have a level here. It's going to fall down on me in a sec. Yeah. There it is. Keep diving. Yeah. Sometimes I... I I'm getting used to like sometimes it still feels like uh, like I want to use the left stick to drop altitude. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it messes with my head. Oh, look. What is that? I think it might be a tram car. Get close to it. So that's the fittings for an old ore car. Like yep. The wheels and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, it's it the is. wheels and the and, and uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the chassis, very old, like wooden. Yeah, get a good look at it. This old car is old, very old. Oh, dive. I'm wondering what it's gonna be like when I turn around. If I can it's gonna be, be bad, it's gonna anything. be bad. But you've got north, south, east, west, so you were looking directly west almost. I cannot see Jack. What happened? I think it, we just got a bunch of, we disturbed a bunch of stuff. Okay. Unfortunately, the submersible operator had brushed the roof of this winds a few too many times, making visibility basically zero. He was uncertain of his headings, so as you can see here, I helped him retrieve the sub by just pulling it back to the surface by its cable. Not the most graceful first attempt, but definitely a fun thing to have finally tried. It was of course very exciting to find out that this mine was much bigger than we knew. Maybe you'll be seeing more submersible content here in the future. Catch you guys on the next one.